I want to go fast, Dad! I want to go fast! But what's the evolutionary basis of wanting to burn rubber? Hey there, speed demons. Trace here for D News. Speed is a thing, y'all. The fastest free fall, the fastest sprinter, the fastest jet, the fastest swimmer, cars that can go zero to 60 in two and a half seconds, and on and on and on. Humans seem to be obsessed with speed. People just cannot keep off the throttle. But why do some of us seem to be addicted to it? Well, a 2009 study in organizational behavior and human decision processes that took forever to find, by the way, looked at the testosterone levels of men driving a sports car or a family sedan. They then had them drive down streets crowded with women and streets that were empty, testing their testosterone after the experiment. And regardless of their audience, the men in a sports car had elevated testosterone levels, while the sedan guys, they remained low. When driving fast, squirts of adrenaline cause our blood pressure to spike, heart to race, and body to tingle as we prepare to spring into action. After the moment of fear and mortality fades, we're left with euphoric withdrawal. Some people respond to this feeling more than others, but men tend to be more susceptible than women, indicating it's related to testosterone. Which is why men tend to drive like, well, you know. When we get into a car, something happens to our psyche, and the car actually becomes an extension of our ego. And the lead researcher believes human males use the sports car as a status symbol and a method of sexual signaling, akin to feather displays, dances, constructions, songs, or displays that other animals use. We are literally peacocking, although according to this study, we're not actually doing it for the audience, we're doing it for ourselves. Of course, then we have to get out there and use that giant thing underneath us to go fast, right? Yeah. It depends on your levels of testosterone, sure, but also the levels of the enzyme monoamine oxidase. MAO is a regulator in the brain, which is linked with a dopamine receptor called dopamine 4. Dopamine is one of the reward chemicals floating around in your gourd. It makes you feel good and is connected to mood so strongly that antidepressants keep more of it floating in there to keep you happy. People with low levels of MAO are correlated with high levels of sensation-seeking behavior, which is the name psychologists give to those who take risks for the thrill of it. When humans feel excitement and fear, our brains are awash in a myriad of chemicals and hormones, stimulating here, tweaking there, rewarding and dampening our feelings and emotions. And those chemicals can be habit-forming, sometimes resulting in sensation seekers driving faster and faster and more and more dangerously. So there's some level of genetic and hormonal influence involved in speed demoning, further supported by evidence that the children of sensation seekers tend to themselves fall into that euphoric trap. We've talked about sensation seeking before here on D News, and when applied to speed demons, it makes all the sense. In the book, The Speed Handbook, UC Santa Barbara professor Enda Duffy explores how the automobile changed human experience. We became psychologically averse to slowness. The media, the movies, and television have all seduced us into speed. It's exciting and also often illegal. According to the National Highway Transportation and Safety Administration, Speeding is one of the most prevalent factors contributing to traffic crashes. In 2010, 31% of all fatalities on the road were due to speeding, and 77% of all car-related deaths involved men. Sensation-seeking is fun and exciting, and it gives some of the best natural highs in the world, but it can also be really dangerous. So slow down, don't speed. Grab a spot on a racetrack if you want to test your limits, but also keep in mind we get flashes of these feelings when we're dating, exploring new places, and even having sex. Without sensation seeking, we would never have left the trees, the plains, or the shores of Africa, and definitely never have gone to space or broken speed records. It's a part of us. It's a risky part, but important nonetheless. If you enjoy a thrill of a new vehicle, though, check out the Toyota TRD. Toyota has been doing some tinkering of their own with the TRD line of Toyota trucks, enhanced to rule the off-road. But what was your first car? Mine was a sweet van. It was one of those big ones. It was top speed, 70 miles an hour. No thrill-seeking for me. Let us know down in the comments what you drove, and keep coming back here every day for more D News. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>